Indistar IU insider Zach Ostomer discusses the Hoosiers' loss on Wednesday night. Idiar forward Deron Davis, 20, drives on Duke forward Vadel Carter Jr., 34, during the first half of an NCAA college basketball game, Wednesday, November 29, 2017, in Bloomington, Industrial. AP photo forward slash Darren Cummings, photo, Darren Cummings, AP. Bloomington this looked like progress. It looked like a foundation. It looked like Deron Davis banging into two different lottery picks in the 2018 NBA draft, banging and banging his way toward the basket until he was at the rim and scoring on 6-11 Marvin Bagley 3 and 6-10 Vadel Carter Jr. It looked like Devote Green creating dunks for three different teammates with three nifty passes. It looked like Robert Johnson resembling the senior he is, not the freshman he tends to be. It looked like a loss, if you're into keeping score. No one Duke beat unranked DRIFE 1-81, but that's a footnote to the much larger story Wednesday night at Assembly Hall. Is this where someone needs to scream something about there being no such thing as a moral victory? Fine. You scream me. I'll whisper something more intelligent, more reasonable, more accurate. Idiar might just be on to something. Finally. For the first time in a season that is seven games and one month old, IU looks like an actual NCAA tournament contender. Did I say IU will make it into the 2018 NCAA tournament? Let me go back and check nope. I did not but I am saying the Hoosiers looked like a team that could get there, if they can replicate the effort and intelligence they showed Wednesday against Duke. Idiar forward Freddie McSwain Jr. Celebrates a dunk against Duke during the first half of an NCAA college basketball game, Wednesday, November 29, 2017, in Bloomington, Industrial. AP photo forward slash Darren Cummings, photo, Darren Cummings, AP. Seeing how Duke is no one in the country, IDR won't play a team this good again. The performance the Hoosiers displayed Wednesday, I'm saying it would beat most teams on their schedule. Now they were playing at home, which won't always be the case, and they were playing a Duke team that always, everywhere it goes, brings out the best in its opponent. The question going forward is this, can Idiar summon the occasional brilliance and constant passion of Wednesday against, say, unranked Michigan on Saturday or unranked Iowa on Monday? We'll see I'm not ruling out this performance being a one-off, a fluke, the kind of thing I saw for years when I covered Duke for the Charlotte Observer. Duke routinely brings out the best in its opponent and still wins almost every time. It's remarkable, and it can't be pawned off on the obvious officiating advantage the Blue Devils have gotten for years, one they received on Wednesday night as well. Midway through the second half, with IU leading 63-59 with 11.36 left and Duke's Mike Kortazuski no longer coaching his team, but coaching instead the officials, this remarkable statistical anomaly happened. Eight consecutive fouls went against Adiar. At Adiar. Adiar players Robert Johnson and Deron Davis recap the Hoosiers' loss to Duke on Wednesday night. By the time those seven minutes were finished, seven minutes late in the second half with a tiring Duke team committing zero fouls, Duke went from trailing by 4, 63-59, to leading by 3, 78-75.